In this episode, we will look at how chargeback works for Nutanix on-prem infrastructure. Chargeback in Beam Cost Governance helps users to create spend reporting based on their financial organization structure. Chargeback is an important step for finance to help measure and control their organization's private cloud as well as public cloud spend. Beam helps the users define a two-level organizational hierarchy between business units and cost centers. A cost center is the smallest unit of financial resource group, and a set of cost centers can be grouped to form a business unit. The first step to create cost centers in Beam is to define the chargeback governance strategy. Beam offers two ways to help create cost center. One option is to map the entire cluster to the cost center where all virtual resources created in the cluster will be mapped to the cost center. The other option is to map specific virtual machines to cost centers by definition using the PRISM categories. In the case of PRISM category based governance, the best way to help define a cost center is to create a PRISM category key called cost center with multiple values like finance, IT and HR. Once defined, the key value pairs can be mapped to individual VMs based on the organization requirements. There are a few tagging and cost center definition best practices to keep in mind to help create a simpler chargeback governance strategy. One option is to keep have a single key like cost center with multiple values for each uh, key cost center for easy grouping. Alternatively, the category selection can be kept to minimum in cost center definition. Beam supports and operator for allowing multiple sets of category keys along with values. To avoid overlapping of resources, once a cost center gets defined for a particular cluster, any other definition involving the same cluster will be fixed to have the same set of category keys in Beam. In this demo, we will create a business unit named financial services with three cost centers, finance, HR, and IT. To create PRISM categories, let's go to the PRISM interface. Once we are in the PRISM interface, let's go ahead and create those categories. Once the categories are created, we can go ahead and map those category key values to appropriate VMs. For this demo, let's select a couple of VMs and then map one of the category key value pair to them. This would map the category key value of cost center finance to these couple of VMs. So when a similar cost center is being created in Beam, these couple of VMs and their cost get mapped to the finance cost center. So we are in Beam here. Uh, let's start creating a cost center named finance. The cost center can be defined by selecting the cloud as Nutanix. The parent account is the overall Nutanix account that is onboarded within Beam. The sub accounts are the list of clusters that have cost metering enabled within Beam. Once selected, the PRISM categories that were defined in PRISM Central will be available as key value pairs in the cost center filter definition. In this case, since uh, we don't have that, let's go ahead and select app as the category key and a um, couple of values. Once the values are selected, we can save the filter. And once the definition is saved, uh, the cost center gets created. We can then create a business unit and then map the finance cost center within that business unit. The key to note here is that the cost center definition helps users create CCs with resources across multiple clouds like AWS, Azure, and GCP. The way to add other resources within the same cost center is to create additional filter for the same cost center definition and select a different cloud here. In addition to the definition-based cost center allocation, users can manually map a certain VM to a cost center or multiple cost centers by defining a percentage-based allocation. This helps to define VMs which host shared applications for multiple cost centers. Cost center definition also supports untagged, wherein a CC definition has 
key as cost center and value as untagged. The VMs which does not have key as cost center also will be grouped within this cost center. There are a few caveats to keep in mind while creating cost centers for Nutanix on-prem infrastructure. The PRISM category's data might take up to 24 to 48 hours to get ingested in Beam. Hence, it would be advisable to wait for 24 to 48 hours from PRISM category creation to cost center creation in Beam. Stay tuned for more episodes on how to keep your IT operations efficient.